When Lewis Hamilton had barely turned 22, he began making millions of pounds as a Formula One driver. Some other drivers may have started life in the highlight, but this lad from black middle-class England started giving back. He regularly visits sick youngsters at the Great Ormond Street Children's Hospital to help promote charity events. So do you think I'll be able to get one? Recently, Hamilton met young patients on the oncology ward at the hospital and even gave his jacket to one of the patients as he pledged his backing to the charity fund. Lewis was asked if meeting the children makes him realise what is important in life. It does, it does, and it brings you, always brings you down, back down to earth, and these kids, you know, it's, it's great to be, to be able to put a smile on their face, and um, whether it's for a second or for a day or whatever it is, and, um, you know, and for me, just, I don't know, just seeing their, their smile just gives you that little bit of edges, you know, spark in you, and it makes you happy, you know, they've made my day already, so I'm very happy. Hamilton support will help raise money that will go towards the hospital's Kiss It Better appeal to fund research into the causes and treatment of childhood cancer. In 2007, the Formula One star took a break from Grand Prix racing to take a spin around a London park in his old go-kart. This event was organised around an auction to raise money for charity. Ironically, the F1 star, who had not made a mistake in Grand Prix and was at the time the leader in the Formula One championship stakes, crashed the cart that was to be sold at the auction. Hamilton started karting when he was just eight years old and decided to auction off his old cart to raise some cash for charity. The cart was made especially for Hamilton and was worth about £2,000 at the time. The auction started at just £1, but bidding was competitive and the cart finally sold for a massive £42,000. Despite having copped a few speeding fines himself, Lewis Hamilton has joined forces with former seven-time world champion Michael Schumacher in support of the Make Roads Safe campaign, which aims to reduce the number of deaths caused by road crashes around the world. Make Roads Safe was part of the United Nations Global Road Safety Week, and they campaigned to save over one million lives a year. I only recently just found out that there was 1.2 million deaths a year, and I think that's shocking. I mean, I, I'm really surprised by it. To be honest, if someone asked me how many people do I think die every year on the road, I would never have guessed that many people. So I think people need to sit back and really think about how many people are dying on the roads and, and what we can do about uh, improving that. Hamilton recently gave a ride home to a lucky Brazilian man after a happy hour to promote safe driving in Sao Paulo. The campaign was intended to encourage young drivers to avoid driving when under the influence of alcohol. After looking at frightening Brazilian statistics, the Britain decided to engage in the campaign. In a 2006 study, Sao Paulo's Traffic Bureau reported that 43% of deadly car accidents in the city were alcohol-related. On the eve of the Monaco Grand Prix weekend, Lewis Hamilton and Mika Hakkinen appeared together for their sponsor's campaign to promote responsible drinking. In the form of a futuristic pod, the packed simulator will provide consumers with a practical demonstration to remind them of the dangers of driving under the influence of alcohol in a controlled virtual environment. When introducing the simulator, Hamilton said that he wanted to use his public profile to raise awareness of the importance of making a personal commitment not to drink and drive. He said the simulator would enable people to see for themselves how alcohol impacts their ability to drive. Lewis Hamilton holds dearly the support that his family and friends have given him and considers his disabled younger brother to have been an inspiration to him. He has, Nicholas, he's, he's, um, he's obviously, he's, he's got cerebral palsy with my brother and he's, for a 15 year old, he's got such character and charisma, he's, he's always got a smile on his face no matter what and that's something you can really take a lot from and learn from and, and take it on in your life. He's my number one supporter, you know, bar my dad, you know, he's, he's really comes to all my races and he has been for, for many, many years. Yeah.